Well, home builders and general contractors haven't seen anything like it. The cost of lumber has skyrocketed in the last year and it's still climbing. Philip Townsend breaks down the effects on home prices and your everyday bottom line. Okay, how's this for perspective? In May of last year, $50,000 worth of lumber could build about 10 homes. This year, that amount of lumber can only build two. That's according to the National Association of Home Builders. We're talking about an almost 400% increase. The reason behind this price hike, it's tough to nail down, but we know it likely has to do with a couple of things. A few things, in fact. One of those high tariffs on Canadian lumber by the Trump administration. They made the import a lot more expensive to bring in. Naturally, that means less softwood to go around. Then you have to factor in lower production at U.S. sawmills because of the pandemic. Fewer people were working. Add in demand for new homes and more do-it-yourselfers buying more lumber while spending more time at home, and it's the perfect storm. So how does this affect all of us? Well, with new home construction down, there's low inventory of houses on the market. That is driving up the price to buy a new home. Or how about this? Maybe you're just interested in tackling a house project, say 100 feet of new fence. That would have set you back about $800 in 2019. Today, expect to pay closer to $1,500. $1,500 just for the lumber for that new fence. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. If there's any good news, those taxes on Canadian lumber were lowered significantly at the end of December, so the cost of lumber should eventually rebound.